Thanks for watching, and here's a math fact with applications to projectiles and missiles. Because consider the following polynomial, let's try to find the zeros. Well, by the rational roots theorem, the zeros, they divide minus 15. So it could be plus minus 1, plus minus 3, plus minus 5, plus minus 15. And in fact, you can check that x equals 1 works. Because 1 minus 9 plus 23 minus 15, it is 0. And therefore, let's divide this by x minus 1. And so, if you apply American long division, because for the French one, you always run out of space, then what you get is you first multiply x minus 1 by x squared to get x cubed minus x, and you get minus 8x squared plus 23x minus 15, and now multiplied by minus 8x. And what you get is minus 8x squared plus 8x. And then 23 minus 8, it's 15. So 15x minus 15. And then we do minus 15 to get minus 15x plus 15. And then ding, 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 you end up getting 0, meaning that this x cubed thing is x minus 1 times x squared minus 8x minus 50. And the good news is using, if you want, quadratic formula, you can decompose this even further. You get x minus 1 times x minus 3 times x minus 5. Meaning that the roots of this polynomial is 1, 3, and 5. You might say, what does this have to do with projectiles? Here's a nice application now. And you might say, what does this have to do with projectiles? Well, consider the following scenario. You have this polynomial with roots 1, 3, and 5. Think of it as a cliff. And consider the average between the two smallest roots. So in this case, it's 2. And so not quite at the maximum, a little bit to the right. And suppose you go hunting or something, and you have this projectile missile, and you're trying to hunt foxes, for instance. And the question is, suppose you consider the tangent line going through this average. The question is, where does this tangent line, or where does this projectile land? Believe it or not, it goes precisely through the third root. How cool is that? In other words, the tangent line at the average of the two smallest roots goes through the big root. So if you have a fox here at 5, then you guarantee to eradicate the fox, if you wish. And here, here we can actually show it explicitly, because what is the tangent line at 2? It's y minus f of 2 equals f prime of 2 times x minus 2. Now, remember what our polynomial was. It was, I believe, x cubed minus 9x squared plus 23x minus 15. So f of 2, that is 8 minus 9 times 4 plus 23 times 2 minus 15, which I think it's, let me think, mm, 3. <laughs> and now what is the derivative? So f prime, that is 3x squared minus 18x plus 23. So f prime at 2, well, it's 3 times 4 minus 18 times 2 plus 23 and that simplifies to minus 1. So now what is the equation of the tangent line? Well in this case y minus 3 equals minus 1 times x minus 2. Right? And then what we get is y minus 3 equals minus x plus 2, and so y is, I think, 5 minus x. 
And now the question is, when is y equal to zero? So when does a projectile hit the ground? Well, if you set y equals zero, you get zero equals five minus x, and then x equals five. So in fact, what have we shown? We've shown that if f is a cubic polynomial with roots a less than b less than c, then the tangent line at the average of the two smaller roots actually goes through the third root. How cool is that? All right, I hope you like this. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.